Welcome to the PSAT 8-9 Administration at Granada Hills Charter High School. This test will focus on what you've already been learning throughout school. It gives you a chance to see where you might need to improve in high school. Before we begin the test, I'm going to read some regulations and instructions. Please listen carefully and hold any questions until I ask for them. For today's test, you may use only a number two pencil to mark your answer sheet. Mechanical pencils are not allowed. Please raise your hand if you do not have a number two pencil. All students should have an equal opportunity to show their skills and knowledge on this test. For this reason, there are rules in place to make sure that no one has an unfair advantage. We will dismiss and cancel the scores of anyone doing any of the following. Giving or receiving help of any kind on the test. Looking through the test book before the start of the test. Working on the wrong section or looking at a previous or future section of the test book or answer sheet. Marking answers after time is called. Sharing test questions or answers with anyone during or after the test. Attempting to remove test materials from the testing room. Using any unauthorized testing aids, including phones, during testing or breaks. You may also be dismissed for eating or drinking during testing, causing a disturbance of any kind or distracting other students, leaving the room or building without authorization during the test or breaks. Does anyone have any questions about anything I've said so far? By this time, you should have turned in all phones or any other electronic devices. If anyone still has an electronic device of any kind, please disable alarms, power it off, and turn it into your teacher now. It will be returned to you at the end of the test. Now we're going to prepare to start the test. Please remove everything from your desk except your number two pencils with erasers, approved calculators, and any approved testing device. If you brought a backup calculator or extra batteries, please put them on your desk. You may not share a calculator with another student at any time during the tests or breaks. Please sit quietly while your teacher takes a moment to look around and make sure that no one has a calculator that is not allowed. Teachers, please distribute answer sheets now. Students, please check to make sure your correct legal name and date of birth appear on the answer sheet and that the corresponding bubbles are filled in correctly. Raise your hand if you have the wrong answer sheet. If you do not finish bubbling or have bubbled in incorrect information during PSAT pre-administration, please go ahead and bubble it in now. If you were absent during last Wednesday during pre-administration, please bubble in sections 1 through 8 now.
Begin by filling in your legal last name, first name, and middle initial if you have one in field 1. Include spaces, hyphens, or apostrophes if these are part of your name. If you include a name other than your legal last name, your scores may be delayed. Print the letters in all caps in the boxes, then fill in the corresponding bubbles. Make sure each mark is dark and completely fills the bubble. Look up when you are finished. In field 2, fill in the bubble that says yes and enter the name and address of our school in field 3. In field 4, enter the school code, which is 051088. In field 5, print and fill in your Granada ID number, starting with the first column to the left. If you have letters in your ID number, skip them and only enter the numerals. If you don't know your student ID number, raise your hand so your teacher can look it up. Fill in your current grade level in field 6. Fill in the appropriate bubble in field 7. In field 8, fill in the appropriate bubble for the month when you were born. Then fill in the day and the last two digits of the year you were born and fill in the appropriate bubbles. Any two digit fields need to start with a zero if the number is less than 10. Teachers, please distribute the test booklets now. Students, when you receive your test booklet, do not open it. Turn it over and read the back cover. It has important information about the test and how to properly mark your answers.
Print your name, the school's code, which is 051088, and the school's name clearly on the back of your test booklet. Please look up when you are finished. Now turn your answer sheet to page 4. Find fields A and B on the back of your answer sheet and on the back of your test booklet. Copy the form code and test ID exactly as they appear on the back of your test book into fields A and B on your answer sheet. For field A, please also fill in the appropriate bubbles. Please look up when you are finished. Take a moment to ensure that the form code and test ID fields are completed correctly. It is critical that you enter the correct codes on your answer sheet, otherwise you may not receive scores. Please leave field C blank. Please leave field D blank. Now. Please find the certification statement on the back of your answer sheet. By signing the statement, you are agreeing not to share any specific test questions with anyone in any form of communication, including email, text message, internet posts, or other use of the internet. Doing so may result in score cancellation or other possible sanction. In addition, you agree that if your school provided any information about you to the College Board, the College Board may retain that information to provide the educational services related to this test, such as score reporting and scholarship eligibility and opportunities. Read the statement and the information in your instructions booklet, then sign your full name as you would on an official document. Under your signature, print your name and enter today's date, which is October 10, 2018. Please be sure to complete this section. If you don't sign your name, your scores may be delayed or canceled. Put your pencil down when you are finished. Please put your calculators and extra batteries under your desk now. You won't need them for the first section. During the test, keep your answer sheet and test book flat on your desk. If you find something wrong with your answer sheet or test book, such as a missing page, raise your hand at that time. Your teacher will walk around the room to check your progress and keep the official timings for the test. You may use the test book for scratch work, but you must mark your answers on the answer sheet for your work to be scored. After time has been called, you may no longer transfer answers from your test book to your answer sheet or fill in empty bubbles. If you have any questions about testing procedures, please ask them now. Your teacher will not be able to answer questions during the timed sections of the test. You will now work on section 1 of the test. Do not open your test book until your teacher tells you to do so. Once we begin, you will have 55 minutes to work on Section 1, the reading test. We will take a 5-minute break when this section is finished. Be sure to mark your answers in numbered spaces that correspond to the numbered questions in Section 1. 
Make sure you are using a number two pencil and that you fill in the entire bubble darkly and completely. If you change your response, erase it as completely as possible. If you finish before time is called, you may check your work in this section, but you may not turn to any other section in the test booklet. Remember that you receive points for correct answers, but you do not lose points for incorrect answers. That means you should try to answer every question, even if you're not sure of the correct answer. Please turn your answer sheet to section 1 on page 3. Keep your answer sheet open and flat on your desk. Do not fold pages back. Teachers, please pause the video and give students 55 minutes to work on section 1. Please write the start and stop times on the board and give students a 25 minute and a 5 minute warning so they may appropriately pace themselves. Unpause when the 55 minutes are over. Stop working and put your pencil down. Close your answer sheet and insert it in your test book where you stopped working. Close your test booklet. You will now have a few minutes to stretch. Do not discuss test questions during the break or leave the testing room without permission. Teachers, please pause the video during the stretch break. You will now answer questions in section 2. Once we begin, you will have 30 minutes to work on section 2, the writing and language test. Be sure to mark your answers in the numbered spaces that correspond to the numbered test questions in section 2. If you finish before time is called, you may check your work in this section, but you may not turn to any other section. Find section 2 on page 3 of your answer sheet. Keep your answer sheet open and flat on your desk. Do not fold pages back. Teachers, after pausing the video, please give students 30 minutes to work on section two. Please write start and stop times on the board and provide 15 and five minute warnings. Unpause when the 30 minutes are over. Stop working and put your pencil down. You will now work on section three. Once we begin, you will have 20 minutes to work on section three, the math test without calculator. We will take a five minute break when this section is finished. Although this is a portion of the math test, you are not allowed to use a calculator. Please keep your calculator under your desk. Find section three on page three of your answer sheet. Keep your answer sheet open and flat on your desk. Do not fold pages back. Be sure to mark your answers in the numbered spaces that correspond to the numbered test questions in section three. Directions for how to enter your answers to the questions labeled student produced responses are in your test book. Answers to these questions can be shorter but not longer than four characters. If you finish before time is called, you may check your work in this section but you may not turn to any other section. Teachers, students are allowed 20 minutes to work on this section. Please post start and stop times and provide 10 and five minute warnings. Unpause the video after the 20 minutes are over. Stop work and put your pencil down. 
Close your answer sheet and place it on the page in your test book where you stopped working. Close your test book. You will now have a few minutes to stretch. Do not discuss test questions during the break or leave the testing room without permission. We will start testing again in exactly five minutes. Teachers, please pause the video during the five minute stretch break. Students, this is the final section of the test. You're almost done. Once we begin, you will have 40 minutes to work on section 4, the math test with calculator. You may use your calculator for this section. Please put your calculator on your desk now. When using a calculator, follow these guidelines. Keep it flat on your desk or hold it so that other students cannot view your work. Do not share or exchange your calculator with anyone else. If you brought a backup calculator or batteries, keep them on the floor under your desk. If your calculator malfunctions and you have batteries or a backup calculator, raise your hand. Your teacher will come over to assist you. If you do not have a backup, continue to take the test. All math questions can be answered without a calculator. Find section 4 on page 3 of your answer sheet. Keep your answer sheet open and flat on your desk. Do not fold pages back. Make sure to mark your answers in the numbered spaces that correspond to the numbered test questions in section 4. Directions for how to enter your answers to the questions labeled Student Produced Responses are in your test book. Answers to these questions can be shorter, but not longer, than four characters. If you finish before time is called, you may check your work in this section, but you may not turn to any other section. Teachers, after pausing the video, please allow 40 minutes for section 4. Post start and stop times and provide 20 and 5 minute warnings. Unpause after the 40 minutes are over. Stop work and put your pencil down. Close your answer sheet so that page 1 is on top. Close your test book and place it on top of your answer sheet. Do not insert the answer sheet. Congratulations, you just finished the test. Please remain in your seat until your teacher dismisses you. Teachers, please account for all answer sheets and test booklets. Any unused test materials should be separated and set aside. Please do not insert answer sheets inside test booklets. Return all PSAT materials, including homeroom attendance rosters and PSAT seating chart, to the testing box. Promptly return testing box to room D4 after dismissing students at the bell. Thank you. This concludes the 2018-19 PSAT Administration at Granada Hills Charter High School.